Blanchard from Politico. Jack, good afternoon. Thank you very much. Um, a question for each of you, uh, please. Uh, Deputy Chief Medical Officer, uh, we've seen very alarmingly large increases in the number of deaths over the last, well, each of the last two or three days. Um, is that as you had expected, or are the number of deaths increasing more quickly than you had hoped? Uh, and Secretary of State, have you modelled more extreme social distancing measures should they be necessary? And can you, can you give us an indication of where things might go if what we're doing so far doesn't prove to be enough? Um, so, thank you for that, Jack. Um, sadly, the answer is yes. It is as expected in many ways. It's, it's not a, an easy position to stand on a platform and say we expect a large number of people to die. But we have a pandemic on our hands and it is an, a, an unprecedented event for this generation in this country. Um, I think uh, it is because of where we are on the curve, all, all the above, as I've said previously, applied. We are expecting that that number will increase for the next week or two. Uh, but then we anticipate that if we keep doing what we're doing, and I can't emphasise that we have to keep doing it, it's no good just doing it for a few days and stopping, uh, that we do anticipate that those numbers will start to drop. Uh, the important thing about the number of deaths uh, and uh, it is a very, um, sadly, an easy to count uh, statistic, in, if you like. And uh, it's quite difficult to uh, translate what it means often to the public in terms of death rates. And there has been a huge uh, amount of media uh, written and reported on that. But it is a sort of stable statistic, but it lags behind our impressions on uh, the rate of increase of uh, infections. So we just need to watch it carefully hold tight for a week or two, keep doing what we're doing, and then come back and ask me the question again. Uh, and I think hopefully we'll be on the way down a little bit. That's right. Well, I think, as Jenny said, the task for us all now as a country is to adhere to the social distancing measures that we've already announced. These are very significant moves, you know, unprecedented in our peacetime history. If we all follow those measures, then there's every reason to believe that we can turn the tide on the virus and we'll be able to protect the NHS and to save people's lives. Of course, if those measures prove insufficient or if uh, members of the public are not complying with them, then we will have to consider what further options are available to us. But that is not our intention. We hope and believe that these measures can be sufficient, but it will take, because of the nature of the virus, a couple of weeks, as Jenny's articulated, before we can see whether that's truly happening. And, and if I could just add to that, just for reassurance, because obviously we've talked a lot about the uh, capacity of the NHS to manage uh, the number of people flowing through. We have plenty of capacity in the NHS right now to manage people coming through the system. So those deaths represent very sadly individuals who have not been able to respond to the high quality care that the NHS is providing. Very good. Well, I think there's, sorry, I think there's uh, one further question um, from uh, Channel 5. I think the further question is from um, Kate Proctor from the...